everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I am here to review Monster Trucks. So, Monster Trucks stars Lucas Till, Jane Levy, and Danny Glover, and the film is directed by Chris Wedge. So, Monster Trucks tells the story of Trip, played by Lucas Till, who is basically a loner. Life isn't really that great for him. All he wants to do is just get out of town until he actually finds this truck, which he actually starts to build for himself. But then there's some sort of accident that happens at this oil drilling site when Trip meets Creech, this monster. Creech actually becomes the monster that takes control of the truck and so therefore monster plus truck equals monster truck. So when that happens you have Rob Lowe and the others after trip because of this monster. And look I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm not gonna sugarcoat this when I say that I was looking for the monster trucks. I really don't mind a big dumb movie. Not every movie I have to enjoy has to be thought-provoking or smart. I just described to you the plot. It sounds ridiculous when I described all of that, huh? But if they execute in the way where I actually enjoy it, that's where I'm happy. This movie was so much fun. Granted, it's a dumb movie, but it's so much fun and I couldn't help but have the biggest smile on my face watching Monster Trucks. And we really don't get a lot of live action family movies and when we do they turn out either alright or they turn out bad. Like really bad. So it's not often you really get a family live action movie that's good now these days. So to actually get a live action family movie that you know in my opinion I consider to be good, dumb but good, it's actually refreshing in my opinion. Now Monster Trucks I know you guys are going to probably ask me, is this a guilty pleasure? Because that is what I was expecting going into this film. I actually got a little more than a guilty pleasure. Yes, granted, while Monster Trucks is a dumb movie, I actually do think it surprisingly had a pretty good storyline to go along with it. Because one, I'll say this, I did really like the character of Trip. I did see where Trip was coming from. He's pretty much a loner and he just wants to get out of the town. So I do have a good understanding of where he's coming from. And I did really like the character of Creech. I think Creech is seriously one of the most adorable characters I've seen in a while. Seriously, the minute I saw Creech in this movie, I fell in love with this character. He has so much personality and charm to him. And I gotta say that Creech and Trip have such a great friendship. I really did buy that these two care for each other, that these two truly are friends. And there's some surprisingly cute moments. Yes, in a big, dumb movie like Monster Trucks, where a monster is controlling the truck, there actually is some genuine heart and very cute moments going on for this film, which surprised me, actually. Lucas Till, I thought, did a very good job as Trip. I actually really enjoyed him. Lucas Till, I think, is actually a very underrated actor and to actually see him actually have a lead role for a movie was very cool honestly even if it's in a ridiculous movie like Monster Trucks and I actually have to say I really like Jane Levy in this film too because Jane Levy it's not the first time she's been in a Nickelodeon movie the last time she was in a Nickelodeon movie it wasn't so kid friendly granted I'm not complaining I'm just saying, it wasn't very kid friendly, but it's nice to see her in a Nickelodeon movie where it is actually kid friendly. So I thought she did a very good job here. At first, I'm not gonna lie, and this is one of my problems, her character did get on my nerves at first. I wasn't quite digging her character. But then I'm going to say once she goes on this adventure with Trip, that's when I started to like the character more from there. And that's when I started to buy her and Trip's friendship. Because Trip, you know, there's this cliche where Trip, he's just thinking about all himself and the truck. Jane Levy, you know, she has feelings for Trip. So she's trying to pour her heart out there. But Trip is just treating her 
pretty much like crap. But then once Trip actually starts to appreciate Jane, Le Jane Levy, they actually do have a cute little chemistry going along and that's why I really appreciate it. And Danny Glover, although he's not in this film that much, it was actually really nice to see Danny Glover in here. He appears mainly in the third act. You see him in like one scene in the beginning and you don't really see Danny Glover more often until once you actually get to that third act where that's where you pretty much get all the monster trucks because the majority of this movie really is just Creech the Monster hiding from the oil company that Rob Lowe runs. Oh yeah, Rob Lowe is in this film by the way. He plays that generic cliche greedy guy and that's really it to him. Thomas Lennon is here in this film too as a scientist and I actually did really like him. And I did really like Tripp's redheaded friend who granted doesn't really have a whole lot of screen time but the screen time that he did have I really liked him. The cinematography for the film, I have to say, is very well shot. This is actually a very well lit movie. And this is Chris Wedge's first live action film to direct because this is a guy that's come from directing movies like The First Ice Age, Robots, Epic. All anime movies I actually really enjoyed, especially Robots, which is a film I actually adore. So Chris Wedge's first live action film, I actually thought he did a very good job, honestly. His direction was very smooth. I could see what was going on. And then when you do get to this big chase sequence in the climax. Most of the monster trucks action really comes in the last act of the movie and that's where the movie becomes more fun. I actually thought the third act was very well executed. The action was very exciting. There are a lot of very cool shots. The editing was pretty cool as well. Now look, with monster trucks, it is easy to kind of pick apart a film like this. Like you could pick apart that there really is no need for Jane Levy to tag along with Trip or the fact that the movie basically ignores Tripp's mother, her not worrying about Tripp or anything, just like they don't do really anything with that. You could question the whole oil company situation, why this oil company really wants to get this monster. There's a lot of things you can honestly pick apart from monster trucks and I can understand how people could trash on this film and say it's stupid. Monster trucks, if you take it for what it is, it's a uh, dumb but fun movie but if you pick apart some of the um, illogical stuff in this film then yeah it's a film you're gonna hate easily but personally I had a lot of fun with Monster Trucks. I think it's the first truly underrated movie of 2017. I actually do think this is a legitimately good movie. It's dumb for sure, but it's so self-aware and I think it's well written enough to the point where I could actually call this a pretty good movie. So I'm gonna give Monster Trucks three out of four stars. I honestly did have a pretty fun time watching this film. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Monster Trucks. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!